J. at the Nina Public Library. And this is our last week that our theme is snow. And next week we're going to start having as our theme, beach time. I'm so excited about that because in February, there's nothing more in Wisconsin I like to think about than time at the beach. <laughs> so we have a couple of short snow songs today that I hope you enjoy. And one of the first one is to the twinkle theme. I think you're going to like it and you can get up and move. And it's so easy, but you can do it the very first time that you hear it. So if you stand up right now, we'll sing this together and I'll show you the motions. And what you can do is you can get a scarf at home or you can get, you know, these are little pieces of tool that I'm pretending are my snowflakes. And our snowflakes are going to dance around to the tune of Twinkle. Snowflake, snowflake, dance around. So you can dance around in that part. Snowflake, snowflake, touch the ground. Snowflakes landing on my nose. Snowflakes landing on my toes. Snowflakes, snowflakes, dance around. Snowflakes, snowflakes, touch the ground. And then surely you can just Throw your snowflakes up in the air. <laughs> Our second song is the winter hokey pokey. So this time of year, we need to have a good attitude about getting all our winter clothes on before we go outside. And one thing we can do in this song is pantomime. So you can either actually have your mittens or you can just pretend to put your mittens on. So that's what Miss Donna is going to do today. And I bet a lot of you already know the winter hokey pokey. If you're at the Y, you have figured out the whole performance of the hokey pokey. So we're gonna put on our mittens. We're gonna wind a scarf around our head and put our hats on. We're going to put our coat on and button it up or zip it up. And we're going to put our boots on. And that's what it's all about. <laughs> So here's our winter hokey pokey. You put your mittens on, you take your mittens off, you put your mittens on and you shake them all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. So next is our scarf. You put your scarf on, you take your scarf off, you put your scarf on and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Next, we'll do our hat. You put your hat on, you take your hat off, you put your hat on and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Now is our coat. You put your coat on, you put your coat off, you put your coat on and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. This is our last thing, our boots. Those are the hardest to get on, right? Let's pretend to put our boots on. You put your boots on, you take your boots off, you put your boots on and you shake them all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. <laughs> that was lots of fun. Our book today is Snowball Moon by Fran Cannon Slayton and illustrated by Tracy Bishop. I think you're just going to love this book because they think of all the most fun things to do in the winter and they put it all into one night. And the other thing that's so fun about this book is there's so many rhyming words. Whenever you hear a rhyming word, you can give your grown up a kiss. <laughs> this is published by Little Bee Books. Thank you, Little Bee Books.
snowy night, firelight. They're playing Jenga. Cozy flames, friendly games. Lights go out, a scream, a shout. The power must have gone out because of the storm. Every eye on the sky. Look at that snowball moon. Snowball moon, bright as noon. Mittens, boots, warm snow suits. Grab the sled from the shed. Race outside for a ride. Down the hill, winter thrill. Here's our snowy owl again. Frozen lake. Where's the break? It is really hard to stop and slide sometimes. Slide and slip, double flip. Upside down, spinning round. Get up, sport. Build a fort. If you see the details in this book, it's really fun to see. There's a red fox peeking shyly from this pine tree and a raccoon is helping them build their fort. Snowball fight, what a night. Frosty fun nearly done. One more ride, warm inside. Rosy nose, icy toes. Goodbye, snow, hot cocoa. Oh, look who's behind the sled. Two rabbits and the raccoon is there too. Droopy eyes, snowflake skies. Counting sheep fall asleep. How about if we count this, the sheep? One, two, three, four, five. Do you hear the pounding upside upstairs, guys? We are building a new meeting room for you all to use for when the library can be open and you can come in the library again. Sometime in the future, there's going to be extra meeting space upstairs, and that's what the pounding is about. Sleepy heads dream of sleds. Look at the animals are having a snowball fight. The, the sheep they were pretending to count. And the other animals are sliding down the hill. The deer is making a snowman. Come back soon, snowball moon. And they all lived happily ever after the end. See, wasn't that a good book? This week we're going to have our last winter themed yoga flow and it's winter sports. So we're going to pretend to do some winter sports in our yoga flow. So our very first one is our snowboarding pose. And you know how our, our picture in picture is going to be over here. So you'll be able to see the child drawn doing the pose and I'll describe it. So in our snowboarding pose, that's warrior two. And that's such a strong pose. So we're going to reach both of our arms out to the sides and you look over your front fingertips. You open your hips to the side and make sure your front knee is bent forward and you pretend to be a snowboarder cruising down the mountain. And remember, Have any of you been practicing your snow breathing where you whoosh and engage your core? I hope so. So our next pose is our ice skating pose. That's warrior three. So we're going to do that on both sides. And this is a balance pose. So you're standing on one leg. So if you need to stand next to a wall or have your grown up help you to balance, or if you're just a really good balancer, you can do it on your own. So you stand on one leg 
and you extend the other leg behind you and flex your foot. You bend your torso forward and take your arms back alongside your body and you're pretending to be ice skating on a frozen pond. After a few breaths, balance on your other leg and bring your arms back and ice skate on that other leg. Now, if you were pretending to play hockey and you were in the goal, you'd be pretending to be very firm and not let the puck pass to you, right? That's horse pose. So stand with your legs apart and your feet are facing slightly outward. You bend your knees and you stand firm and you don't let that puck through the goal. <laughs> Pretend to be a playing hockey on the ice. I don't know how many of you have been ice fishing with your grown-ups, but if we do chair pose in yoga, that's a lot like ice fishing. So you stand tall in mountain pose with your feet hip distance apart and you bend your knees and keep a straight spine. Hold your hands out in front of you and you can be holding that pole for ice fishing. This is a very good strengthening pose. It's so great that we're gonna hold it one more breath. And inhale back up and just to shake out your body can you do a five second dance party? One, two, three, four, shake your body out, your arms and your legs. We're gonna do one more chair pose. And this time we're gonna pre be pretending to do downhill skiing. So you stand tall with your arms at your sides and your feet hip distance apart. And then you bend your knees, lean forward to rest your elbows on your thighs. And you clasp your hands together, keep a straight spine, and look forward and pretend to be a skier racing down a hill. So two chair poses, but one was ice fishing and one was downhill skiing. They're both fun though. Now inhale back up and exhale down to the ground and put your legs out in front of you. You're going to be pretending to be on a sled. This is staff pose. And you keep your spine straight. And you pretend to be sledding down a hill. Now, finally, Lie on your back. You're in your resting pose with your arms and your legs stretched out and pretend to be making a snow angel. The most fun thing to do outside in the snow. Breathe and rest. If you'd like to do this yoga flow slower, you certainly can pause for any pose and do it a little bit longer and take more time in Shavasana or your resting pose, your snow angel pose, or use your snow angel pose maybe at nap time or bedtime if you want to. Next week, we're going to be doing beach yoga flow. So that's gonna be a lot of, a lot of fun. For our goodbye song today, we're going to do Aloha, which means goodbye and hello. Aloha, oi, aloha, oi. Story time is over, our dancing time is done.
done. Aloha oi, aloha oi, until we meet again. Cha cha cha. <laughs> Thank you for joining me this week for Yoga and Yodels. We'll see you soon.